Hello uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you've visited the channel before you may have noticed that I'll sometimes do reviews on gear that I use. I've previously done a video on these sunglasses but after watching it back there's a few things that I missed out and I just wasn't 100% happy with it. It seems quite a popular video so I thought I would remake it and try and do a more professional job. So this video is about the Oakley Jawbreaker sunglasses. Now these glasses I wear every single time I ride. Uh, I just can't get used to wearing goggles for some reason. And these are just, I find these much easier to use. These come with uh, photochromic lenses, which are the clear ones, which work for, I mean you can use them pretty much any time, uh, apart from when it's super bright. Uh, these are good for low light conditions. And they also come with uh, trail prism lenses which are these ones uh, and these are the ones that I wear most of the time you can wear these almost any time apart from when it's really dark so these are my go-to and these are the spare ones that I keep just in case I mean we live in Scotland so the chances are you're going to get rain and dark quite a lot of the time so these are good for keeping the crud out of your eyes and here we have the Oakley Jawbreakers with the photochromic lens in uh, these haven't been darkened at the moment, these are just straight out of the bag so you can see what the lens looks like when they're clear. Uh, as you can see there's really no difference between normal daylight and the clear lenses before they're darkened. Uh, they really make a difference on the darker days. As you can see it from the front there's really no difference at all. So when you're wearing them on a dark day it just feels like they're normal clear see-through sunglasses uh, as you can see from the video there's really no difference no transition at all on these ones uh, but what I've done next is I darkened one half of the lenses just to let you see what it would look like and as you can see the difference between the clear lens and the lens that's gone through transition these aren't fully dark yet because as you can see outside it wasn't the greatest of days but it gives you a rough idea on the darkness. These are the fully darkened. As you can see, it makes a huge difference from the outside. And as you're wearing them and they darken, you don't really notice it until you take them off or you see them. But as you can see, the fully dark version, it gives a nice gray smoke. Not a huge difference, but when you're wearing them, it, it, it is noticeable. But as I say, if you've got them on, you don't notice the transition until you actually take them off. These are the trail prism lenses. These are the ones that I wear most of the time. You'll have to excuse the shaky camera angle. I'm still not super stable on this. But these are the go-to lenses for me. Uh, they're nice. They give good contrast. They give good colour. Uh, they make a lot of the roots pop. And they're definitely my favourite lenses. You can see from the inside, uh, they do look like a totally different colour. But when you've got them on, within a couple of minutes, you don't notice. Although it looks like your view might be obstructed with the Oakley and the, the bits sticking out, the view or the vision on these is brilliant. You can see a small part of the rim when you're wearing them, but it gives you almost unobstructed vision which is perfect. They sit really well, uh, they hold your face really well and they're comfortable which is, a, which is the main thing. Uh, wearing them pretty much any condition uh, apart from dark uh, they're perfect, they're, they really are. As you can see they hold the cheek guards on them and the nose bridge on them hold them really close to your face so even when it starts getting rowdy you don't they don't move you don't really notice the difference uh, as you can see it makes everything pop although it looks quite red in the video when you're wearing them as I say within a couple of minutes you really don't notice that you're wearing them uh, you can see the difference it makes everything look sunny so even on those dull grey days uh, it just makes you feel like it's a bit more summer as you can see here they do have fog vents or airports whatever you want to call them i think there's there's three on each each side on each lens 
uh, just to force the air around the glasses so they never ever fog up. You will notice that if you stop in between sections, if you've had a hard section, they will fog up, but literally within a couple of pedal strokes, it's gone, they're clear, so I never wipe them, I just leave them to cool themselves. When it comes time to change your lenses, uh, if you've got other ones or you're just looking to take them out and clean them, it's relatively simple. You just squeeze the nose bridge, pop it up, you'll hear it click, and then unclasp the clip at the top, and they just open out, uh, just like that. And you can just pop the lens out. So putting them back in, again, nice and simple, you just do it in reverse. Uh, I found the easiest way is if you put them in right in the middle and then slide the two sides in, you'll see the two little grooves uh, beside the Oakley badge. Make sure they're nice and firm, push the nose bridge in again, click it shut, and then just in reverse, just put the clip on first and click that into place and then pull the nose break down, you'll hear it click. And a good habit is just to get have a quick push around the lenses just to make sure everything's sturdy and it's in place. Once it's done, they're not going anywhere. This is the case and the bag that came with these. Uh, the bag is just a carrying case but there's also a little handhold in it for uh, when you come to clean the glasses, you slide your hand in, give the glasses a wee clean. Uh, so this is really handy, it's good for just keeping in your pocket when you're wearing the glasses. The case is super solid, uh, it's well made, nice solid zip. My only problem is, on I've got a pair of Oakley gas cans and there's a foam insert on the inside which fits the glasses and the lenses perfectly, whereas this one's just open. So, I mean, the glasses are okay in there, but for that sort of money, it would be nice to get a foam insert as well. Well, that's my quick review on the uh, Oakley Jawbreaker sunglasses. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. If you like this or anything else on the channel, please like and subscribe. It helps support the channel. Uh, until next time, ride safe, keep the faith.